up guys it's me again Maria and today another tutorial on how you can create a jigsaw puzzle using your own feature like this in today so without any further ado let's do this this is my picture that I'm going to use to create a jigsaw puzzle. You can use any image or photos that you want, but uh, I just want to show you guys in this tutorial that you can also use your own photo if you want to. Okay, so let's go to the PowerPoint and then create a blank template. I'm going to insert my picture here uh, in this template. Okay, so what you're going to do here is to insert your pictures, go to insert, pick the pictures, and find the pictures or images that you want to create your puzzle okay i'm gonna use this one as you see and there you go voila <laughs> all right i'm gonna make i'm gonna use this picture to uh, create a puzzle okay i'm gonna break my face into pieces <laughs> and then we're going to create uh, connect again later on okay, so i'm going to resize this one just go to here and you can you know resize this the, the size that you want to then i'm going to crop my picture okay go to crop and mm, let's say the aspect ratio is this okay i'm going to make the 4.5 for this picture okay so what we're going to do next here is we're going to put a shapes that we can use to create a puzzle okay we're going to make four pieces of this to create a puzzle okay i'm going to put this one here on the other side and then we're going to insert the shapes click the insert click the shapes and get, get the shapes of a square one all right so now once we get this size what we're going to do here is we're going to add another shapes okay so go to insert get another shape which is the the round the round shape and then we're going to put it here now we have a round shape here okay we're going to put this one over here and as you see if you see there's the line the red line over here that means that your uh, is in the middle okay and then we're gonna make another one just copy and paste this one and then we're gonna put here at the bottom okay make sure that you see the red line so make sure that you are in the middle of this uh, square shape so next what we're gonna do is we're going to match the round shape to the square shape okay so on your keyboard click the control key and then click this one and as you see the merge here click the merge and you see the union the combine the intersect and the subtract so what we're gonna do here is we, cl we click the union and as you see once you click the union it's already uh, connected to this uh, square shape okay so now let's go to the other uh, shapes here so what we're gonna do here is we're going to create a curve here so that we can insert the other piece of the puzzle okay so click this one and then go to merge control key on your keyboard click the direct uh, the square shape and here you will have union combine intersect and subtract click the subtract and as you see we have uh, one piece of our puzzle it looks like a puzzle right so this is what we're going to use into this picture okay so now what we're going to do here is we just copy and paste here and paste so uh, what you're gonna do is just to click this one over here and then you can just connect this to this all right as you see if you see there's a little bit of white over there you can always adjust this like that okay there you go voila <laughs> all right so now we're going to copy and paste again for the rest of the piece here at the bottom Okay, so we just uh, flip this one like this and then insert it to this. Okay, there you go. Now, you can always adjust a little bit if you see there is a white line there. You can always, you know, just a little bit. And then from here, we're going to copy and paste again. And we're going to, oh no, sorry, I killed this okay and all you're gonna do is just to you know flip this one like this and insert it to this space voila all right so now we have our pieces of puzzle that we can put into our photo okay so let's drag the photo here so to see if this fit okay i'm gonna make a little bit 
can hold this one. How about this one? This one. Oh. All right, so we're gonna drag this one here to see if it fits this one. I'm gonna bring it to the front so that I can resize it. Okay, you see, you can always resize it the size that you want. So we're gonna resize this one into the uh, pieces of puzzles that we made. Okay, so to do that, we're going to crop this one again, double click, and let's do the cropping. Okay, so we're going to crop this one a little bit here on the top like this. And this one is, all right, so now they're on the same size, right? So now what we're going to do next is I'm going to put this back here on the other side, and we're going to create a four pieces of puzzle in this uh, shapes. Okay, so what we're going to do next, we're going to make four copies of your picture because we have four pieces here, so we need four of this. So just copy and paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, and then we have four of this. Okay, so I'm going to take the first one to show you guys how it goes when you put these pieces of puzzle into your picture. Okay, so we're going to start in this corner, okay? Just click this one and right click and bring it to the front. And then after that, what you're going to do is just to drag it here on the top of your picture. Okay, and then we're going to connect it so that it will look like uh, a picture, not really the shapes already. The shapes is going to be your picture. So click the picture, go to merge control key on your keyboard click this one and then what we're gonna do here is we're going to intersect okay click the intersect and then now voila <laughs> so now the the shape the piece of the shapes that we made is now inside of your picture all right so now we have one piece of here and now we're going to the next one put it down here and then I'm going to use this one okay click that one right click bring it to the front drag it here on this side so once you've done with that you would like that and then we're going to merge this one again into this shape okay so click this one control key on your keyboard click the shape and then intersect and then now there you go next bring the, the other picture here down then let's get this one bring to the front drag it here to the left bottom of your picture okay so I'm gonna, all right and then click your picture control key on your keyboard hold on I didn't see it was a minute ago all right there you go click your picture control key on your keyboard click this shape and go to merge and intersect okay so now we have another piece of your face <laughs> of my face <laughs> all right so now it is kind of kind of fun now okay so this one okay so now let's go to this one and then i'm gonna put this one drag oh no forgot i forgot to bring this to the front don't forget to bring to the front drag this here click that one and then click your picture go to merge control key on your keyboard click this okay now make sure that it is on the uh yeah all right there you go click the merge click this one and then intersect so now you see voila <laughs> now you have a puzzle already we make four pieces of our picture as i like you can use for a puzzle okay so now it's time to connect okay so what we're gonna do here now if you're using this one for your kids then you can always make um as many pieces as you want well it depends on the level of your uh of uh, your students or if you have a small kids you can create like five piece six piece ten pieces of puzzles so that they can connect it so now you can always use animals flowers food things like that pictures you know whatever you want you can always make uh, as many pieces of puzzles as you can okay so now we're going to connect this one here just drag it in here just drag this one in over here and this one the last one is over here voila <laughs> all right
right, so now we're done. Now we have our puzzle, but this is the original, the, the pictures that we uh, uploaded. And these are the pieces, the four pieces of puzzles that we made into this tutorial. All right, so now you can now uh, print this one, laminate it, and uh, let your kids work on it. Or, um, you know, you can, you can create a lot of uh, pieces, as many as you want. Depends on the picture, depends on the image that you want to create a puzzle. Okay, so that's, that, that's it, guys. So this is how I created a puzzle for my students. So if you want to try to create a puzzle, go to PowerPoint, learn the, learn the process, and it's all the same process. Just create a copy of, uh, of uh, how many pictures that you want or how many pieces of puzzles that you want, create a copy of your picture or images, and then do the same process over and over again. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope this helps. So uh, if you have any questions, just let me know down in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so that it helps my, uh, my channel to grow up and to make an, uh, a lot of video for you guys to share on how you can create a lot of things using PowerPoint, using Canva, or anything that I know I want to share with you guys. So stay tuned and thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.